Now that we know the interface of Xcode, let's start making our first app. We're here in the view controller and that's a nice place to do coding. And we are gonna do stuff here, but let's start with visual aspects. So I'm gonna click here into main storyboard. And this is where you can really create your app without having to spend hours doing code. Very user-friendly and very good. So the first thing I want to do is click here on view control scene, drop this down and then select view controller, then view and then safe area. You'll see that we've got a blue rectangle here. This shows you where you can place content on your app without causing problems. The reason is at the very top, we have time and signal and pull down commands. At the very bottom, we've got push up commands. So this is part of the iPhone's interface that we can't really play with. But as long as our content is in the middle here, life is good. So how do we put content in? Actually, there's a really easy way of doing this. We go up to the top, view, and then show library. We can use the shortcut shift command and L together, or just click on that. We'll see that we have a whole load of objects that we are pretty familiar with, with iPhones, so sliders, switches, buttons, etc. But we just want a label. Now, if you can't find it, it's very easy. Just type label into search and it will pop up. So take this and drag it onto your as it is, this is pretty uninspiring. You probably don't really care about something saying label. You probably want to say something more interesting. So I can double click on that and you can see it goes blue. I can select it and I can type the name of my app, whatever I want to call it. It's pretty straightforward. That probably is not how you want to have your app. So let's modify this bit. First thing I want to do is place it. Now you'll see as you move this around the screen, these snap guides turn up. So on the left gives you the right alignment because you always need a bit of space at the edge of your app. So it just clicks and we're nicely aligned to the right, once again, to the top, to the bottom, and as you saw there, center. If I want it to the very middle, I can just bring it to around there. So those guides make your life very easy, but what about changing the text itself? Now, if I click on the text on the label and jump over to this panel on the right, you want to go for the one, two, three, four, fifth menu across, which is our attribute inspector. That lets us change things about the text. So it pretty much is the interface that you're used to. So we can change the color. So if I drop down here, I can choose orange. The size, it's this font part. Now I can expand that a bit and do pieces, but a, I'm just gonna click on the up arrow and you see that the numbers go up. I'm gonna put this at the very top as well. Right. Now I can open up the custom part. So you see, click on the T and it brings out some options about size, style, and font, as you would be expecting. Bold, um, maybe I want to do something special. So as it is, I'm gonna choose large title because this is a system default. If I'm using these defaults that are built in, then it really helps standardize across the app. I don't have to remember what various titles are. I just remember that the home page is going to be title one, the second down navigation is title, title one, the next level of navigation would be title two, the next level of navigation may be title three, or whatever my design has. Or maybe I'm going to have a subheading. Um, I can really go around, or I can click here and then choose custom. And when I choose custom, I can really jump into what kind of font it is. So I could choose maybe marker felt. Um, or maybe I could choose Menlo or really anything I like. But hey, I'm going to be quite boring here and just stay with the system. And there we are. So what else can we do? We can have multiple lines of text. So if I want to have, um, let's say, three lines of text, I can just bring, bring down here get to the end, press options, return, type love, and we'll see it appears there. Now you see that this doesn't really work that well overall, but 
you know, it's a way of getting things in. But generally labels are pretty useful when you're just doing one area. I'm going to take that back onto just one. Let's see what else we can do. We can add shadows. So I can choose to have a black shadow just appears there. Or maybe I want to place a green shadow. The shadows are pretty out of vogue at the moment. I don't really use them, but you can if you like. You can offset it, you can do the height, you can make it various sizes there. And you know, just take the highlights and various pieces. We can add an alpha. Now, what is an alpha? An alpha is when you make it slightly invisible. So press, if it's one, that's fully opaque. And as I press the down arrow, you see it slights disappear as it starts to go into nothing. Enough for zero is you can't see anything, but I'm gonna keep that as one. I can have um, a whole load of things here. It really is worth playing around. But the last thing I want to show you is the background. So I can choose a background, which is gonna be black. And is this inspiring? Probably not, um, but you know, whatever your design is, is what your design is. The other thing I can think about is the alignment. Left aligned, probably not what you want. Center aligned is a bit better. So that gives me a little label. Now we have covered the basics of how to make a label. It's time for you to do your work. I want you to pause this video. Then I want you to create a label that is size 40. The font is Comic Sans, the color is red, and it has a blue background. So, label, size 40, Comic Sans font, red color, and blue background. Pause this video, get on with that. Then once you've done that, press play, and we'll carry on with the example. Here we are back in Xcode, so let's get on with this. We're gonna add our label, so view, show library, and we want to say label. Drag this onto the table. Double click in here, go to our right. We're gonna choose size 40. So it's gonna drop down on here and expand that. Actually, I'm just gonna type in there, size 40. And the custom typeface, I'm going to choose, not Helvetica, I'm gonna choose Comic Sans which is actually missing from my one not in, on my system. So I'm gonna choose Chalk Duster. So if you haven't got it, don't worry. Then I'm gonna leave that as being regular. The size I'm gonna choose for this, I'm gonna go with size 40. I'm gonna make what the text say, doesn't really matter my text. Then I'm going to choose the color, which is just drop down. I'm going to choose system red. And the background is going to be a nice blue background. So system blue. And there we are. So that is my label, size 40. Didn't have Comic Sans, but Chalk Duster is pretty damn close. Color red and background blue. Now one of the lessons we're going to learn here is that sometimes you'll design something and you don't always have that available in your toolkit. Maybe iOS doesn't have that typeface. So finding something which is similar is a great way of working and produces something which your developer is gonna be happy with. So there we are, that's adding labels onto the next lesson.